Given this equation, quantity x plus square root of x squared plus 1 multiplied by the quantity y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals 1, wherein x and y are both real numbers, then our goal in this question is to find the numerical value of x plus y. Now, pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. All right, so x and y here is a real number. Given this equation, the quantity, the product of x plus square root of x squared plus 1 and y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals 1, then our goal is to find the numerical value of x plus y. All right, so given one equation, our goal is to find the sum of x and y. Now, here's my attempt to answer this question. First, what we're going to do is to divide both sides by y plus square root of y squared plus 1. And then, since we have a radical on the denominator, so what we're going to do is to rationalize the denominator. So let's multiply the right-hand side to square y minus square root of y squared plus 1 over y minus square root of y squared plus 1, or the conjugate of y plus square root of y squared plus 1. Now, if we multiply this, we get something like in the numerator, we have 1 times y minus square root of y squared plus 1. So this is the numerator. And the denominator, we can see that we have sum and difference. So if we apply the sum and difference, we have something on the denominator as y squared minus the square of the other term, square of square root of y squared plus 1. Now, let's focus on this result. Now, the denominator, we can simplify this as y squared minus the quantity y squared plus 1. And y squared and negative y squared cancel out, so the denominator is just negative 1. Now, y minus square root of y squared plus 1 divided by negative 1. So, in short, this becomes positive and this y becomes negative. So, we can rewrite this as square root of y squared plus 1 minus y. Now, we get this result by dividing both sides by y plus square root of y squared plus 1, then rationalize. Now, let's set aside this result. And then, let's get this equation again, and instead of dividing both sides by y plus square root of y squared plus 1, let's divide both sides by x plus square root of x squared plus 1. So we have y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Of course, we need to rationalize this. So let's multiply this by x minus square root of x squared plus 1. If we do that, we get on the numerator x minus square root of x squared plus 1. And on the denominator, we have sum and difference. And if we simplify this, we have negative 1. Since we have negative 1 on the denominator, we can interchange the sign. So this becomes positive and x becomes negative. So y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals square root of x squared plus 1 minus x. So this is the result when dividing both sides by x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Now, using these two results, we can now solve for the value of x plus y. So, I will show you how. First, in the first equation, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, we will do the same thing on the second equation. Let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, let's focus on these two results, and what we're going to do is to add these two equations. Now, if we add these two equations, notice we have positive square root of y squared plus 1 and negative square root of y squared plus 1. So, this is just 0. And we have positive square root of x squared plus 1 and negative square root of x squared plus 1. This is also 0. So if we add this to equation, the result is just 2 times the quantity x plus y equals 0. So the right-hand side is just 0. Now, we want to find the value of x plus y. So divide both sides by 2, and we'll end up with x plus y equals 0. And this is the value that we want.
to find. So, given this equation, quantity of x plus square root of x squared plus 1 multiplied by the quantity y plus square root of y squared plus 1 equals 1, wherein x and y are both real numbers, then the value of x plus y is just 0. And as always, we are done.